All right, where are we going? So Rick's usually on the streets of San Francisco. This is a good area. Prospecting for the best locations to put in a hotspot. There's a trick to this, a cheap one. There's a company out there that spends millions of dollars a year on site research that, you know, they identify all these locations for us. They, they say this is the best area for Wi-Fi. And they do, that, they do that for us. They don't even charge us for it. So it's called Starbucks. <laughs> so. And if Rick wants to put a hot spot in Starbucks, Starbucks can't say no, because he can beam his signal through so walls. We've got Starbucks right here, and you can see where the apple is on the door. Mm -hmm. That's our location. It's the Wild West all over again. Oh, there you go. Rick's been so busy staking out sites, he hasn't had time to push the pins in the map. We've probably had, uh, I'd say, another 20, 25 locations uh, in this area. In this gold rush, Rick's the leading prospector, written up in Fortune and the local papers. Ah, but okay. the problem for Rick and everyone else in this crazy business, customers can be stolen in an instant. Let's say someone sets up a hot spot in the pizza place behind me. If it goes well, draws in a lot of customers, there's absolutely nothing to prevent someone else from setting up another one across the street. The signals overlap, so if he lowers his rates, he loses all his customers. You, know, you pay $20 for a, a month of unlimited access with us. Rick's answer, be cheap right from the start. Check out this low-budget installation. Hey, what's up with the couch? The couch? <laughs> yeah, we got a coffee shop next door that used to be one of our locations, and, uh, and now we put this antenna up that blasts through a couple of concrete walls and uh, gives service into the coffee shop. And we put this antenna up that blasts through a couple of concrete walls and uh, gives service into the coffee shop. You don't want to stand in front of that, though. It's pretty powerful. You don't want to stand in front of that, though. It's pretty powerful. Rick's betting the telcos and other corporate giants will eventually all jump in to build huge Wi-Fi systems. And by then, he'll be just big enough to matter. We're going to be the biggest pain in the ass they've ever seen.